good day all some animals and plants exist only in captivity it's time to restore them to the wild the longer the species spend in captivity the more risk becoming inbred or losing the genetic diversity that helps resist diseases and other threats it was april in 1981 when a party of four camped for two days and nights on the forested slopes of mount everman the central peak of socorro a volcanic island in the pacific some 400 km southwest of baja california mexico their fruitless search confirmed their suspicions the socorro dove an endearingly tame bird unique to the island had disappeared eaten by the cats of spanish colonists pushed out by grazing sheep and shot from the sky by hunters but the species had not vanished 56 years prior to his, this search in 1925 17 socorro dove had been collected from the island and transported to a bird keeper in california in the usa somehow almost 100 years later the descendants of these birds the last socorro dove on the planet are still with us distributed across captive facilities in europe and north america it is a strange uh, liminal space disappeared from the wild yet not entirely extinct and it's one of it's one not peculiar to the socorro dove our research has confirmed that at least 33 animals and 39 plants no longer have wild population but survive under human care in places such as zoos aquariums botanic gardens and seed banks <coughs> these species are categorized as extinct in the wild under the international union of conservation of nature red list of threatened species the system conservation biologists used to evaluate and communicate extinction risk it's a diverse set that include the manicillo a relative of the peanut only found in bolivia the tali palm originally identified from a lone specimen on the campus of dhaka university in bangladesh and a number of tree snails from the remote society islands in the pacific ocean in one sense here is something worth celebrating a group that has given extinction the slip but what uh, uh, does the future look like for this species human care will not preserve them i don't indefinitely on the contrary the longer they spend in captivity the more they uh, risk becoming inbred or losing the genetic diversity that helps them resist disease and other threats eventually outright extinction looms especially if their populations are small life in cap- captivity a quirky in the red list means that conservationists don't systematically count the number of seeds plants or animals in captivity or mana monitor any changes in their status in the same way we do for threatened species in the wild and extinct in the wild species numbering in in the thousands is indistinguishable from one represented by a handful of individual we have somehow contrived to ignore the extinction risk of very of the very group of species for which we are most responsible our review of this group uncovered reasons to be concerned for the most part it seems that this population were found by a tiny number of individuals and would require large populations ideally in the thousands to best ensure against future genetic deterioration and extinction unfortunately where known most species are held in small numbers in <coughs> the hundreds of lower and across a small number of institution fewer than 8 in most cases there also tends to be a lack of coordination planning across institutions and regions where the same species is held this is especially true for plants where it's not always known how many collections exist and where they are fortunately there have been recent efforts by botanical gardens to share data and collaborate more closely seed banks are also important facilities that can store threatened plants as seeds for many decades or even centuries but most ex- extinct in the wild plant species can 
aren't e easily be found in online database that might allow conservationists in different regions to work on joint recovery program conservationists and society more widely <coughs> must do better we know that outright extinction is a real threat of the 97 95 species that have found themselves extinct in the wild or restricted to human care since 1950 11 have since been lost forever like the christmas silent fiftail skink and the saint helena olive a tree endemic to the island of the same name in the southern atlantic ocean <coughs> is there hope perhaps perhaps surprisingly yes the flip side to the 11 species you have lost is the 12th that have been restored to the wild this include the european bison which have disappeared from the wild in 1927 is now thriving in its native range in eastern europe and russia thanks to reintroduction efforts starting in the 1950s using stock from european zoos encouraging more should follow to third of extinction in the wild animals and just under a quarter of extinct in the wild plants have already been released back back to natural habitats this nest sent population may not yet have reached true wild status by for example producing viable young but this is a promising start they show that being extinct in the wild need not be a dead end it can be a platform for long term restoration but if this is the aim for all extinct in the wild species and other perched on the brink there must be a transformation in the way they are regarded and resourced conservationists should continue to rescue species nearing extinction and care for them in captivity but collectively we must also commit to revitalizing the precarious population under our care with more individuals in our institutions we were returned to the wild is a challenge we must redouble efforts to find and mitigate threats in native habitat or explore whether population can be set up in new areas continued care of this wild population will probably be needed extinction looms but recovery is achievable conservation biologists have the tools for success but needs the support and attention of decision makers funders and the broader public to deliver it thanks for watching please subscribe